All right, hi, y'all. Um, so I wrote a little something to say about something that's very important to me that's coming up. Uh, the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. When Martin Luther King spoke these words over five decades ago, I wonder if he knew how true they would ring today. My name is Jacob Tobiah, and I'm the chair of a coalition called Duke Together Against Constitutional Discrimination, a new group facing a huge challenge. On May 8th, North Carolina voters, which includes each and every one of you, by the way, will be asked to vote on an amendment to the state constitution that would define marriage between a man and a woman as the only legal domestic union that will be recognized in the state. In essence, North Carolina voters will have a choice between changing the national discussion on same-sex marriage by being the first state in the South to vote down an amendment that seeks to disenfranchise its LGBT citizens, or by becoming yet another state in a long string of states that have forever codified anti-LGBT hatred into their founding documents. Friends, this amendment is not politics as usual. Just because it's on a ballot doesn't mean that it's political. No, this amendment is deeply, profoundly personal, because if this amendment passes, I may never be able to marry the love of my life in my home state. If this amendment passes, I may never be able to have full legal custody of the children I hope to raise one day. If this amendment passes, thousands of LGBT families, families just like ours, will be permanently denied the right to be seen as families under the law. In the coming months, it will take tireless effort to mobilize the over 14,000 undergraduate and graduate students on this campus to vote against putting discrimination in our state constitution. But no one of us has to do it alone. Through volunteering with Duke Together and working as one student body, we can, as individuals and as a community, defeat this amendment, but it starts with you. After all, who will convince your best friends, your professors, your fraternity brothers, or your sorority sisters to vote if you don't? Who better equipped to convince them than you? Ladies and gentlemen, and everywhere in between, I come to you today to share a simple fact. <laughs> friends, I'm tired. I'm tired of living in a world where I have to fight each and every day for my very identity. I'm tired of living in a world where I must struggle in order to love in the same way that everyone else loves. I'm tired of living in a world where my future family is turned into a political commodity. And most importantly, I'm tired of attending a university that is timid in its support of my fundamental human rights. That is why today, I'm not only calling on you to vote against the amendment in May, I'm calling on the Duke administration on President Broadhead and on the Board of Trustees to do everything within their power to fight an amendment that will permanently limit the rights of its very own students, employees, faculty, and staff. As an institution, Duke knows the right thing to do. I simply hope that Duke will have the moral courage to say it. Thank you.